I believe it's a basic human right for people to have access to broadband networks. And today, about 50% of the world's population have access to a, a broadband network. But if you look at the lesser developed countries, in the whole mobile broadband area, only about 5 or 6% of people have access. And the key thing here in, in liberating people really is actually for governments to release spectrum uh, allocations and give private operators uh, you know this spectrum uh, allocation so that they can provide these services without that um, you know it just will not happen basically the ministries of telecommunications in a lot of countries particularly the developing countries are just sitting on this spectrum and they need to say okay we are going to allocate this spectrum within six months or a year and this is part of our work is to put pressure as broadband commissioners on these government particularly in developing countries to do this everybody knows and everybody has seen you know in the developed world what broadband has achieved uh, but it's you know unless you know, you've got one part of the world like moving at a rate of knots in the broadband penetration, but the less developed world is only trundling along very, very slowly. There are great examples like Macedonia, um, where you know we heard this morning from the minister what they've done, you know, with proper policy and proper speed of thought, really, in in implementing and making available uh, spectrum. I think the United Nations has a major role here, and I think it needs to take a much stronger position on this in recommending to governments that they should open up their market for broadband, that they should make available fre frequencies and spectrum so that private operators can actually uh, implement services. Like if you take Nauru, where the government of Nauru, right in the middle of this Pacific Ocean, you know, they decided a year ago that they wanted broadband. We were licensed to provide broadband service and we were given a WiMAX license. And with, since we started operations about four months ago, half the population have become uh, broadband users. And we think that penetration ultimately within the next six months, because there's a snowball effect, will go to maybe 80 to 90 percent of the population. Now that is, you know, really clever thinking by the government of Nauru. They've said, we want broadband, we want to do it quickly, and we license somebody quickly. Now contrast that with Haiti, where we've been applying for five years for a license for WiMAX. We still don't have a license, but there's no broadband in the country. We're all too polite about this. I think the UN, the ITU, UNESCO, all need to join force and say, hey, governments around the world, if you want to have a proper a functioning economy, you need broadband. It's the umbilical cord for everything that we do today, for business, for, uh, for, you know, for medical health, for government, for e-government, for everything. Uh, you need broadband, and, you know, but you need to start at the basics, and that is licenses for operators so that operators can provide the service, and then you can run all these services on them.